This is Axel's standalone truck adding tutorial. One of the first things you will need is a archiving program. My I use 7 zip, it's easy to use, it's not hard, but it's free, which is a big thing. And I will be adding the 74 Dodge Bighorn. Always read to read me. Go ahead and just minimize that. And cut. Documents. American long haul. Mod. Right click. Paste. And you can see right there. Okay. Now just minimize that. Go ahead and X out of that. Now, because I have a bunch of standalone trucks, I already have a pre made storage file. But if you don't, you're going to need to make one, which is what this tutorial is about. Let me see my four standalone trucks. Midnight Mist, the Mac Superliner, the Custom 379, and Triple H's Peep 379X. Now I'm going to minimize that because I'm going to need it. Rest. Now what you need to do is you need to go in the Archiving Agent program, whatever it is. You're going to need to go to program files 18 wheels of steel American long haul base SES now if you plan on doing a lot of stuff with um, this game instead of just adding trucks like modding and stuff go ahead and extract the whole thing to wherever you want to extract but if you just want to add a standalone truck go to vehicles truck and then your truck and traffic storage or both yeah I just used the truck storage because if I used traffic storage the trucks and traffic would make my game suck okay and what you want to do is you want to on your desktop here create a new folder and name it vehicle open it now inside that folder you want to make a new folder name it truck and go into that folder and I think I screwed up somewhere. I did. Hold on a second. Go back in here. Want to copy it to my desktop. Okay. There it is. Now you want to open this with Word, Pad, Notepad, it don't matter. 
Uh, I just happen to have mine set in the WordPad. Now it'll probably change again. Now go to the very last. Press Enter. Now see, you always need this closing bracket right here. Because if you don't, it'll mess your game up. It won't work. It'll be useless. Now usually, if it's a standalone truck, it'll say, Add this line to your truck storage file. Okay. You can take and copy this and paste now make sure when you click X make sure to save it there you go now there's your truck storage now you X out of that and with 7-zip you right click on this go to 7-zip add to archives now this is one of the most important parts and also where a lot of people mess up at and why it don't work. Your archive format right here needs to be on zip. Nothing, not RAR, not save, 7Z, zip. Compression level store. That's the only thing this game will read. Now you can name this whatever you want. Mine will probably just be what I want it to be this time. truck dot scs or you can name it dot zip it don't make a difference as long as the rest of that's right it don't make a difference but I just name mine scs because it's easier for me to do press ok and you should see oh there it is right here truck file truck scs and if you open this up vehicle truck there's your truck storage file now just move this to your mod folder and then you're done you can X out of that and it should work in your game bye